Hello, everyone. We last left off with Kazarg and her merry band standing in the rain outside Brittleshin Pass, having just uh, rescued Zora from the evil necromancers inside. Our next goal is the Golden Claw that was stolen from the shop in Riverwood. The thieves have gone to a nearby Nordic ruin, Bleak Falls Barrow, and so that's where we're headed. Then after that, we still need to warn the Jarl and get this ring for Aryan. But first things first. The shopkeeper's sister told us that the barrow is just beyond an old stone watchtower, which we saw on our way to Brittleshin. So we're hoping to find a way up to the tower from this side of the mountain so we don't have to backtrack all the way to Riverwood. All right, guys, let's go. Keep your eyes peeled for this watchtower. Hopefully we'll still be able to see it through the rain. Watch out for the lightning too. There's that monster spriggan again. Keep moving, everybody. And the cabin. So I think the tower should be right up here somewhere. There it is. Uh-oh, what's this? Bandits? each other. Ow! I guess they're not attacking each other anymore. Oh! Ouch. Well then. Okay, I didn't think that was going to be too much for me, but... Here you can see, thanks to Obus, that some of these bandits are now way overpowered. And yeah, some of them are actually werewolves. Huh. Big fun. Especially when you're level, what, 12, 13? <laughs> All right, guys, let's get moving. Look, I've had this premonition that we might get attacked by bandits on the way, so uh, be on your guard, all right? Let's go. This is one hell of a storm. That's uh, Minty's lightning, by the way, we've got going on there. Ginormous Spriggan. Stay away from that thing again. Oh. An old lady's cabin. Get ready. Ah, wait. What? Is that old lady attacking us? She is. What on earth? Take this. Oh. 
Oh, man, Kazar. Such brutality. I suppose she did deserve it, though. Not sure why a random old lady in the woods would think she can defeat us, but, uh. Well. Yeah, uh, seeing that kill move reminds me I wanted to mention a mod we've got called BioLens, which is a kill move mod. I haven't really messed with the settings in the MCM other than to follow what the guide said to do, but uh, this mod will give you a lot of options for controlling the game's kill moves. So Vermarin, you really think this old lady was a witch? Just because she threw some spells at us doesn't necessarily make her a witch, you know. This all looks pretty benign to me. Ooh, alchemy book. Very nice. I don't know, maybe she was kind of senile. Just looks like a regular old cabin to me. Hmm. Wonder what's down here. Let's go have a look, shall we? Ah. Let me just pick this lock. There we go. Okay, well, uh, she was definitely into some serious magic, wasn't she? Huh. Ooh, Ring of the Wind. Oh, now that looks pretty interesting. Gemstone. And a letter. All right, let's see what this lady was up to. Helgi, dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven and your training can truly begin. Right. Okay, well, once again, I suppose I owe an apology. Rumarin, you were correct. When I was in the dungeon, a bunch of the guards used to torture the prisoner and fell next to mine. It wasn't right. What? A niece? A witch? He never would have guessed. Although it explains why she took such an interest in my sister. Huh? She took an interest in your sister, Zora? Mm, that's a story I need to hear. Later, though. Remember, a good leader is brave but not reckless. Firm but not rigid. For now, let's just be glad we've done a good deed go, for the people of Skyrim by eliminating her. And, uh, by the way, that book we found, The Paper Mirror... That's from Interesting NPCs, and it starts a quest of the same name, as you saw. I'm not going to worry about that for now, though. What I want to do right now is put on this ring that we picked up. Ring of the Wind, which increases movement speed. Quite handy. Okay, well, let's get moving, guys. We've got a job to do, and the days are wasting. There's Blackberry, such a good boy.
Oh, there's a spriggan dead ahead, guys. Well, that looks like just a, just a normal one. Oh, and a saber cat. All right, go get it, guys. work guys just ow stay out of Lucian's fire okay I guess they didn't fare so well against that Spriggan and its pet, huh? Well, we may as well take their supplies. I mean, they're not going to need them anymore, right? here. Bring the horses on uh, the watchtower. I see it's right up there. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to find bandits living there, so get your weapons ready, everybody. Very nice. All right, there may be some more, so everyone stay alert. Another one up here. Here he is. Get him, guys. Ah. See how ineffective my arrows are against his heavy armor? That's thanks to the mod, Know Your Enemy. I really hate that. 
the problem here is I can't just rush up with my sword and start flailing around. Or else I'm going to hit my followers. Man, these arrows just don't do anything. Get him, Zora. Come on, Gore. Finish him off. Just that ugly. Yeah. All right, good. He's dead, and we aren't. So, all's well that ends well. Yeah, see, there's that damn heavy armor. Let's see what else we got up here. Oh, the chest. All right, well, since we cleared this tower, we can now claim it. Thanks to the mod Lawbringer. Excellent. Ooh, and look. What a nice view. You can see why those bandits were living here. It's a little cold for my taste. This province has a real bandit problem, you know. I feel like there are more of them than there are normal. <laughs> I agree with you, Lucian. And there are way too many bandits around here. Bomber make for easy targets. You can't swing at them because oh, they're gore. too low. To Not even ride. fighting any Falmer. But you can make like a blacksmith and hammer them. You ought to feed that horse more, you know. It does a lot of running around. <laughs> you don't even ride, Lucian. I really don't think you're one to give me advice on horses. Ooh. Here it is. Well, it looks pretty impressive. But, you know what? We're actually going to have to stop for a bit. It is bitter cold up here. My hands are too frozen to hold a grip on my weapons. So, we're going to have to make camp and warm up just a bit before we tackle what's inside that barrow. Just get a fire going here. Or I freeze to death. I love snow. It's so snowy. <laughs> yeah, snow is great. It really shows off the blood from your kills. I just wish it wasn't so damn cold. Jeez, finally. Man, Kazarg really needs to get better at making fires. Okay, so I'm going to stand in the tent here to block off the wind. Lucian. Man. Are you standing in the fire? Alright. Come on. You're just trying to show off your uber fire resistance or something, aren't you? All right, all right, we get it. You're OP. Come on, just get out of the fire, dude. 
Okay, it looks like he's being sacrificed to the gods or something. <laughs> Gotta be in the tent or I'm not gonna get warmer. Maybe if I sit in here, Lucian will get, get out of the fire, dude. Maybe if I sit here, he'll move. There we go. Are you gonna have a nap now? Standing in the fire, wear you out? Poor baby. That was such hard work. Okay, nice. The bar's gone red. We're all warmed up. Much better. So I say let's leave that burning in case we need to come back. Yeah, let's, let's go see what's up here, okay? I see some people moving up there, probably bandits. Oh, yep, of course. Hit those moving targets from here. It's pretty tough to judge. Let's give it a try. Oop. Here they come, guys. Let's go. Get one more. Nice. Yes. All right, one left, guys. Get him. Time to end this That was an impressive dodge. Ow! Damn it! Hey! There we go. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, ouch. Ah! How was that too close? Jeez. <sighs> yeah, you gotta watch out for the burning corpses, guys. They're uh, pretty volatile. I guess we're the ones who are somehow volatile around the burning corpses. <laughs> Same old bandit crap. Oh well. Ah! Wait a minute. I think we missed one, guys. Gore. Nice. Very nice. Lucian? Are you down again? All right. Shake it off. What do you need? Let's go. Okay. Good. Whew. Hopefully that was now all of them. See, look at that blood all over the snow, Lucian. Nice display of our combat prowess there.
Man, look at the sky up there. That is so beautiful. Wow. Nice singing too, Lucian. I'm impressed. Maybe you should be a bard. Hey, maybe you could learn some spells, you know, that like, or some songs that will like, uh, stun our enemies with their, with their beauty or something like that. <laughs> All right, look, let's uh, be sure we loot everything out here and check around. We don't want to miss anything important, okay? All right, it's getting really late, so I'm thinking we should just peek inside and see what it's like. And then we need to get some rest. Night's coming on pretty quickly. All right, shh, here we go, guys. Sneak up on them. Some dead ones in here. What did they have a mutiny or something? Just Damn, we've been found. Just time to end this. Get her. Well, that takes care of that. Gore approved. Thanks, Gore. Okay, let's just loot these guys. Nothing good there. Not much there either. Some dead skeevers and some other dead bandits. Did they die to the skeevers? That is really embarrassing. You know, let's give them a little credit and say they had a mutiny maybe, huh? Well, they do have a nice camp here. You know, I think we should actually stay here it's tonight. Death down here. It's Did a you tomb, see Lucian. Dead back there? I just hope that I don't want another Something about the Something my hearing is not what it is. You guys are all too many blows. You're all chatty all of a sudden. Alright, well what I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted is that I think we should just stay here tonight. Camp's already set up. It's warm in here. Pretty defensible, I think. We just got the two entrances. So yeah, let me uh let me just loot the rest of whatever's in here. I suppose it's too much to ask that these bandits will just hand the golden claw over if we ask them nicely. <laughs> oh, Lucian. You know, you're Naivete is kind of sweet. I think you have a lot to learn about the world, though. Okay, well, um... Let's head back outside so we can put out the fire and collect the tent and the horses. I mean, the last thing we want to do is make it obvious that there's uh, some people up here. And I certainly don't want to lose the horses. Now don't you go stand in the fire too, Windfall. 
Don't listen to Lucian, okay? Standing in the fire is not the best way to warm up. Alright. Come on, guys. Let's see if we can find them a safe spot up here. Somewhere it's a little more hidden. Maybe down here? Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think it's protected a bit from the wind and pretty out of sight unless somebody comes all the way up here. Oh, good boy, Blackberry. That's such a good horse. Okay. Now let's get back inside, guys. It is way too cold out here. Brrr. Get me to the fire. All right, so listen, uh, you guys figure out who's going to keep watch. I'm going to lay out some more bed rolls here. Somewhere. Yeah, over here. This looks good. Hmm? All right, then. Listen, just make sure that whoever's on guard doesn't fall asleep at their post, all right? I'm not sure what might crawl up here from the bowels of this tomb. But we do not want to be taken by surprise. Okay, so this is where we're going to leave it for today. We're actually going to spend the next two episodes getting through Bleak Falls Barrow. I decided not to cut any parts out, so uh, yeah, you're going to see the good, the bad, and the ugly of it all. <laughs> so we'll see you next time when we start to delve into the barrows. Bye! Keep an eye out for traps.